Hi, this is Miss Townsend, and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. We're talking about the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is Question 7. So Question 7 says, find the value or values of K for which the lines blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah are parallel. Are there any values of K that would make them perpendicular? Explain. So we know, right? Parallel means same slope. So this is a question about slope. Let's call this line 1. We'll call this line 2. And let's try to find the slope of both those lines. So here's line 1. Oops. So line 1 is kx minus 2y minus 1 equals 0. So my favorite way to find slope is to rearrange it into slope-intercept form. So I'll isolate the y term. So subtract kx, add 1. Divide by negative 2, and then clean up my math. So I get k over 2x minus 1 over 2. And again, just like we saw in a previous question, that k just represents an unknown number. So you treat it like a number, not a variable the way that we're treating x. So it's just a number that we don't know yet. So there's line 1. So the slope of line 1 is k over 2. So we'll leave one, live 1 for a minute and let's talk about line 2. Line 2 is 8x minus ky plus 3 equals 0. And again, I need the slope. So I'll isolate the y term, subtract 8x, subtract 3. I need to divide everything by negative k thinking about k just like it's a number, and then cleaning up my math. So I have y equals 8 over kx plus 3 over k. So I've rearranged line 2, and now I know there's the equation, but all I really needed was the slope. So the slope of line 2 is 8 over k. So again, line 1 and line 2, I want them to be parallel. And if they're parallel, then their slopes must be the same, which means I can take the slope of line 1, which is k over 2, and make it equal to the slope of line 2. They must be equal to each other if I want these lines to be parallel. So again, I have an equation with an unknown value called k. Let's try to solve. So I'm going to, well, let's multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the 2. So I'll have k equals 16 over k. And then I guess I'll multiply everything by k to get rid of divide by k. So k squared equals 16. Oh, so if k squared equals 16, then k equals the square root of 16. So k equals 4. Now, here's a little side note. Technically, when you take the square root of a number, you're supposed to get two answers. Because we know that 4 times 4 is 16, but so is negative 4 times negative 4. So even though k equals 4, negative 4 would also work. That's a good thing to think about when you're heading into grade 10, is that there's actually two answers to this question. So go back to the beginning. Find the value or values of k for which these lines are parallel. Well, we did. We could say if k equals 4 or negative 4, L1 and L2 are parallel. Now, let's look at the second part of this question, which says, oops, which says, are there any values of k that would make the two lines perpendicular? I just felt using a, like using a different pen. So are there any values of k that would make the two lines perpendicular? So again, it's a question about slope. And I already have their slopes, 
So let's see what happens. Let's go to a new page. So let's remember k over 2 and 8 over k. So line 1, slope was k over 2. And line 2, slope was 8 over k. And if I want them to be perpendicular, then I need the slopes to multiply to give me negative 1. So let's substitute in the slopes. There's slope of line 1. There's the slope of line 2. Oops, almost. Here's the slope of line 2. And if I multiply them together, I get this. Now, the k's will cancel, and I have 4 equals negative 1. Huh? 4 equals negative 1, is that true? On this planet, on any planet, that's not true. And if that's not true, this is impossible math. Therefore, no value of k makes the lines perpendicular. And the questions that explain, you could simply say impossible math. In other words, it's not just a yes, no question. Explain mathematically how you know the answer is no. And I did by doing some impossible math. So I think I'm done the question. That wasn't so bad. Finito, Benito.